welcome back to Western Pennsylvania. Man, we had a storm last night went through. Woke me up in the middle of the night, so much thunder. I just turned over and went to sleep. But Lois got up and said it was raining sideways and really bad. Well, I thought I had was done with making the videos on the uh, Honda ST1100. I got everything just about done. Anything else I thought I'd show, well, there's no sense of showing it. Until I got to the thermostat. So I thought I'll replace the thermostat. I took the old one out and it's looking pretty old. I mean, it ain't too bad, I guess. And when you get a new one, you get a new thermostat. I got it uh, from eBay and you get a new O-ring with it. I have it already in place on it. And the reason I did it was because when I looked at this, this unit with the thermostat in, where all the hoses go on, it was really uh, just like a buildup. It uh, kind of looked like it had leaked and it had a lot of calcium. And I mean, that calcium was on hard. I really had to go at this to clean it. But then what I thought I'd show is something I found on it that's unbelievable. This, uh, okay, let's see, this goes like this. And right here, there's a hose comes off, and it's the one that goes down to your expansion bottle. Well, I looked at it, and the outside, it's crusted, and it's really a little bit kind of messed up. It's like, I don't know what it is. Maybe that calcium made into the uh, aluminum or something. But I looked in there, and I looked down in here. That hole is plugged from one end to the other and I believe it's calcium and everything. Unbelievable. I couldn't believe that is plugged up. Now, when your system gets hot, the cap has a spring, so it comes up and it holds, but it doesn't let the water come out. It lets it go down here and it goes into your expansion bottle. Then when it gets cold, it sucks it back in to keep the air out of the system. But when I looked at that, I'm looking, I'm like, maybe if you could see in there, it's kind of white right in the tip and then right in here in the spout, it's the same way. And I wondered, they surely wouldn't have plugged that up for some reason. And then thinking about it, all this other calcium, it is really filled up because that's such a small hole in there. So I'm gonna take a drill bit with just my fingers and start working in there and if it's soft, enough then I'll go ahead and you know maybe put it in a drill and run that through there and get that all cleaned out I have a little bit more to clean here when you uh, go to put a new thermostat in let's see this goes like this I put two little punch marks well I can tell just by looking at it but I put two little punch marks there with a spring punch and uh, that way I know where it goes and if it you held it and it's like this because this is your lid on top you take it off when you go to put this thermostat in you can see right there at the top there's a hole well whichever way you turn it you put the hole at the top right at the top and they say in the book that is so that lets the air out when you're uh, putting fluid in it and everything. That's what that little hole's for right there. So to let the air out of the system. So always put that right on top. Then when you go to put your O-ring, this is the old one, I have the new one in. That O-ring is like, it's too small because you know it's just made, it's not stretched and you gotta make sure you keep it in there. So the best thing I found was I take this one now it broke because it's hard, but the other one spread. I put it over my hand right here and I just held it for a while. And I, I could do with one hand doing some other cleaning and stuff. And I left that on there. Then I took it off and put it down in this groove where it goes. I hurry up and put this on and I tighten the bolts in to hold it for a while. Now I can take it off, it'll stay right there. I can put my thermostat in with a hole at the top and put it back together. But I I don't know. I'm thinking with all these, every, every place there was a hose, 
here, 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 this one, all with calcium on them. And I think that was plugged, and that was getting so hot, it's pushing it through there, even with the clamps on, it's pushing the water down out and outside, you know, and then building up. I think that's what it was doing. And as I think about it, there's a water pump on this, but it's behind the timing belt. It says it's in there someplace. I looked in the book. Well, I was just going to wait till fall uh, into next winter before I do the valves, because that valves, in, it, it's really involved. Uh, I bought a whole set of these little tabs that go under there to set it. And you can get in enough with a filler gauge, but it's all millimeters, so you got to figure it, well, like, for me, it'd be better for inches, you know, thousands of inches, but uh, I can do it. But I got the whole set of the little things that go underneath. You change them to set the gap on those. And I'm thinking, I'd wait till fall. Well, once I take them tops off and uh, the valve, or the uh, timing belt's right there, then I can look for the uh, water pump and clean it. So I think I'm going to wait. But another thing in the book is they say, uh, oh, I forget what it is, every so often, I think it's 24,000 miles or every two years, I believe that's it, that you should flush your system and change it. And it tells in the book how to drain the water out, and there's actually bolts in right under the cylinders you take out, and it it's uh, the inside of the casing is the water jacket. Well, when you take these bolts out, it lets the water drain out of the, around the cylinders, which that's pretty good because you can get all the water out. So I'm going to do that, and then it says to use a flush, and I got a Blue Devil complete radiator flush and oil degreaser. I like that oil degreaser on there. Nowhere on here does it say it's safe for aluminum. So I asked a man there, and he said, oh, yeah, he said, that's, uh, it won't hurt aluminum, this and that. It's not on there, but I believe they have a website here. Yeah, they got a website. So I am going to go to their website, and maybe even I can ask them a question and ask them. I want to make sure this is safe for aluminum before I go flushing it. But this is a flush. The book said about putting it in, running it up to ten temperature, running it like five, ten minutes or whatever, draining it back out, you know, uh, you could probably water, run some water through to make sure you have it all out. But on this bottle, it tells you to put it in, drain all your system, put water back in and put this in. Now imagine this would be for a car, which is maybe a bigger system, so I was thinking about put, just going with half of it. Uh, and it says uh, start engine and run heater on max while well, that's for your car for 20 minutes for deeper radiator cleaning drive your vehicle for one to two hours product can remain in the system for up to four hours well I was thinking uh, you know should I run it for a while I'm going to run it to get it up to temperature, definitely. So I was thinking maybe I don't have to put all the side panels on. I could just put the seat on and just ride it around here. I got a big loop I can go around just maybe four or five times, then bring it back. And it says to go ahead and open it up. Open your radiator cap real easy. Put a big rag on it, and it'll push out pressure once it's up to temperature. And they want you to kind of drain it out when it's hot and then put your uh, new stuff in. I don't like that. I don't like when you drain that fluid out when it's hot, that engine's going to actually build up some heat with no nothing to take the heat away. Then you pour cold water in. Maybe I'm wrong, but I never liked it. Hurry up and put cold water or even lukewarm water. I guess you could use lukewarm water, but I don't like putting water back into it's cold. So the way I'm going to do it is put this half of this in fill it with water the rest of the way. I'm going to drive it around for a while. Uh, like I said, this loop just around here, get it hot, good and hot, bring it in, I'm going to let it cool off. Then I'll drain the fluid out. Maybe I'll wait till it's still warm, not clear cold. Drain it out. I might even push it out here and put the hose on it and flush it out because they say in the first part they want you to take them plugs out, like I said, in the motor, put a hose 
in uh, the top of this where you put your antifreeze and let it run and uh, when you have them in open radiator first you can let it run out and then run water through it and that should take care of everything to get it really flushed out cleaned out so that's where I'm at so let me get working on this a little bit and see if uh, how easy this is going to be to take that stuff out of there and I think it's just calcium but I never seen that on a bike before like that of course all the older bikes I worked on they were all air cooled so let me get that done and then show it so I started with a pick and I just went in there real easy and it it came right out it the stuff was real soft so I know it was uh, calcium and I went from this side and I dug out a lot and then I just started with drill bits going from real small going bigger 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 until it just fit through the tube and it's wide open down in there it's wide open that's what I needed but you imagine with that plugged off how much pressure was in there because that releases the pressure and the water extra water I'm thinking imagine if that's why he sold it to me so cheap as he did and uh, you know he thought there was a problem with it and that's all it was but that had to be some uh, some high pressure with that plugged off and then this pipe here like I was saying you can see on this side it looks like it's kind of broke right there it's actually I think corrosion and stuff maybe with all that pressure and the water ha coming out of it because this just has one of them circle clips that you know you spread open and put on and hold on but that would you know I still got an, enough there to get a good you know get the hose up and gra get a good grab on it and uh, I think the water pump I'll let go until fall like I said and do it because I'll be doing the uh, valves and the uh, set I got a whole set you can buy them individual but I bought a whole set of these things to set the valves and they're just little tabs that round discs that go down in that under the valve thing to set it and you can see they give you a lot of them there's uh you know some have i think most of them have uh three of each size and the lower ones real low ones they only have one and it must be that you don't need them that much and they go from 1.20 to a 3.40 and if you get one out wouldn't know where it went they actually have a marked right on it what it is but I have calipers that read I think I think these are they're talking uh, millimeters or metric whatever but I could I have a set of calipers that'll read uh, metric so I could find out but this whole set was I think about sixty sixty five dollars round in there for that and you can see the name on it they sell them on eBay but that's how and you can see them back in here maybe but that's how they set the valves in them so it's a process I don't know I see how it's going once I get all this back together I got my red wiring to do that uh, red wire replacement or fix that they call it on uh, and you can find that on YouTube if you own one of these Hondas and then after that I can put the battery in and wire it all up and you know get it back in and then I can run it so when I do the finish up the cooling system and I might just do the valves uh, you know while I'm there I might wait till fall but I'd like to get the thing on the road so hope hope that helps somebody but if you have an overheating bu uh, bike on any any of these with water cold one of the first things to do is take the lid off you can see that hole there see if you can put something down in there you can see now it's wide open but that's where it was plugged and that has to be open shocking but found it 
<laughs> That's why I wrote it home, and I say go all over and check everything, and I'm getting there. So have a good day.